Oh my gosh, this episode is going to be so cheesy. I don't even know how much of this <laughs> stuff I'm going to put up. You asked for this. Um, it's Valentine's Day. We're diving straight into oh this. Oh god. Internet, meet Gabriel. Gabriel, meet the internet. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> this is weird because most of the time when I shoot videos, there's nobody around to see you whenever I just like... Your goofiness. Like trail off or like... <laughs> uh -huh. I'm going to catch you on all your mistakes. No. Okay, so we're doing today a, um, a card game kind of thing. I used to be obsessed with this YouTube channel. I'll link it below, but um, they are not paying me. I just bought something and it's fun. So that's what we're doing. What was the proudest moment between us? Getting back together. Which time? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess every time. <laughs> <laughs> well, I feel like I was pretty proud of us too. I was really proud whenever we decided that we would make it even if um, I had to go to El Paso for school. Mm -hmm. Um, that we would try and not just give up. Do you believe there is the one for you and am I it? We got this card yesterday. I said this morning or yesterday or whenever. I feel like it's beneficial for me to believe that there is only the one and you are it. Like, I feel like all those concepts of like, what, is there a one, is there not a one? It's just like whatever you personally are wanting to believe and I could believe a lot of things but it's just way you're better not the one, just but to believe. you're the one I choose. Yeah, like there's so many ways that you could do it or like there's a lot of soulmates or you know but I uh, I definitely feel like you're you're the one. You're the one for me. In the back of your mind are you scared I'll walk away? No. Not even in the slightest. Have I proven myself? Yeah. <laughs> You've proven yourself too. Ugh. Yeah. I mean, I'm scared I'll lose you, like, to some like natural a mo cause. Like motorcycle accidents? Well, just something, you know, like I am afraid of losing you. But yeah. I'm not really afraid of you leaving me. No, I feel like this is, like, actually the most secure I've felt in a relationship, because I am, like, actually am like attached to you and I mm -hmm. like that is really scary for me I don't even think you could like so. I don't believe that you could cheat on me because it would no. just like I like, have no your, your, about that. your anxiety would go off the wazoo basically yeah like I don't think you could I don't know if I want to put any of this on the internet <laughs> what is one thing you never want me to forget mm. Me naked on top of that tree in Colorado in the middle of the lake. I thought you were just going to break your neck. That's fine. <laughs> I was literally, the whole time you were climbing that tree, it was beautiful. It was gorgeous. No, not but... that tree. In the middle of the lake. Not the one that climbed. Oh, the middle of the lake Oh, in the lake. Yeah. That one. Yeah, I don't think I'll forget that either. <laughs> I won't ever forget that. I'm pretty <laughs> sure I might tattoo that on myself. How? Like a whole no scene or like... I have no idea. Just like, maybe just a lake and then like a little lake. person like a, on top of a tree. Boop, 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 yeah, boop, in the middle boop. of the lake. <laughs> or swimming towards it or swimming away. Because I jumped off of there and there was like those spikes like... It was, you thought you were going to die I or something. I thought I was going to die. And you were like, should I do it? I was like, yeah, you got this. And you were like, okay. <laughs> I got this. <laughs> there was a little creature it was in the lake. Yeah, it, it was, was coming pinchers. towards me. Yeah, and then I was like pushing it away from the water. Yeah, that was, that's good. Describe specifically the moment that you realized you loved me. I feel like I've had so many moments like that, Bert, where it just like gets like a level deeper and a level deeper. What's the deepest level right now? The deepest level mm -hmm. right now. What do you think I would do if you cheated on me? If I cheated on you? Yeah. Cry? 
probably be heartbroken. Yeah, but what would I, think I you do would about it, you know? What would I do? I don't know. I think there's a malicious part of yourself that wants to kill the lady or do some, like, scary thing. But... Nobody will find out. Yeah. <laughs> No, I think you would probably forgive me, actually. I'd be so mad at you because how, like, uh, you, you're a very, like, one-person person. Yeah. So it'd be very strange. It'd be very strange. It would be like, very strange. I don't strange. think that could never happen. If there was one thing that I still don't understand about you, what is it? I feel like there's a lot of things you still don't understand about me. But it's like... Things that I can't. It's just like it's like little things in my own world that are hard to explain. What do you want me to understand about you? I don't know. <laughs> uh, how would you like to describe me to others? Um, well, I'd be like she's a sweetheart and she's cute and she is loving and funny and likes to go on long walks on the beach and in, kiss in the moonlight. I, I don't know. <laughs> I, think, I think you like to go on long walks on the beach. But you would like to do that with me. So, I would do that with So you. that's how I would describe you. Oh. What do you think I question about myself? Sometimes your sexiness. <laughs> mm -hmm. I thought you were going to say my sanity. No. <laughs> oh, that too, I suppose. Well, who doesn't? <laughs> That's true. Who takes more responsibility in our relationship? Responsibility for what? I don't know. That's just the question. I don't know. I feel like... We're both pretty responsible. Because <laughs> we're a team, right? A team. What in our relationship are you the most grateful for? The cuddles. <laughs> How do I take you for granted? I scooped a poop. Yeah, and I thank you very much for that. <laughs> but then I make you dig a hole when the yep. time comes, so yep. I think it shakes out. Yeah. And there's things that shakes you do that, that I... Oh. <laughs> what oh. do you love or hate about our family structure? Oh, uh, well, I like that we're a team. I like that we go visit your parents. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean... I can't really expect anything about, like, seeing my family, you know, because I've never been, like, one to super be close to my family. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm not. Like, yeah. Even my dad coming over the other day, it's like, he's never been over here before. I know. I've lived here for how long, you know? Yeah. It's like, okay. But, I don't know. It's fun going over to your guys' house. Sure, Literally. it's fun, but it's not like a family-oriented place. Or know? like, yeah, like how we eat dinner and like... Yeah, I still love my family. I'm just saying like, going, like, and this has been throughout my life, going over there and living there, I didn't feel very like close to any one of my siblings. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I'm sure they know that, too. It's I mean, like I, I've always felt, we both feel like black sheep in a way, like, a little bit. Like, yeah. uh, although my family, like, my extended family were all pretty close, like, so that's cool that we got that. But I always had this sense that, like, I'm, I don't quite, like, fit in the same way. Hmm. But that could have just been, I don't know. I no, it's know. actually my turn. How would you react if you caught me masturbating? This is a great question. I'd probably be like... <laughs> I don't know, I'd be like, cool. Oh, yeah? Yeah. 
Sweet. If I was horny, I'd probably join in, and if I wasn't, I'd be like, cool, and I'd go do my thing. <laughs> what do you think is holding me back? Holding you back from what? Um, being the per my fullest potential. Your fullest potential. My fullest potential. Uh, I think you have a lot of self-doubt sometimes. Just like... About what? I don't know. Just in... Like your confidence and like being around other people and having social interactions and stuff like that. I think that's holding you back. I can be kind of social though, like... It kind of depends on the setting, too, like, and how I'm doing. Yeah. Both of us are very homebodies, though. Like, I don't like talking to that many people all the time. Right. So. If I have something I can drink, it's okay. <laughs> Keeps me... feel like I have a purpose. What is my purpose? <laughs> drink beer. Yeah. That, that's not a good thing to fill with your purpose. I think the purpose should be I like... I don't usually drink beer. It's usually soda or water or something. Oh, well. But beer it, does help. <laughs> just saying, like, your purpose shouldn't be to consume something. It should be to, like, interact. And... It's like, well, what do I do with my hands, you know? Why are we making it work right now? Why? Because mm -hmm. we love each other. I don't think love is enough. We're compatible. Yeah. We talk to each other. Good communication. Um, we check in with each other. We hold it down. We're both striving for things. Mm -hmm. Um. cards. Okay. You want to play chess? Sure. Okay, cool. <laughs>